Over the last few weeks, we've been looking at how important it is to be yourself. And I can't emphasise enough how our inner mind feels when we're truly relaxed in being ourselves and our unique self. Our minds are black and white, so any level of tension will cause part of our inner safety and security to switch off and to freeze or to become hypervigilant in fight or flight. We may have had a heightened stress response for all of our lives and may not even be consciously aware of it, but our mind knows everything and will of course be fully aware. Being ourselves is a great privilege which we have got to enjoy Over these last few decades, it's our time to fully own this. As there are still places in the world that continue to battle for their personal freedom. If we can't relax and be who we are, it's like part of us is caged, frozen in fear, waiting to pounce or run. If we find ourselves responding to everyday situations in this overreactive way, It's more than likely that there's part of you living in this fear state and you just don't know it. Here's something we could be doing which can be causing that inner stress and fear, plus stopping us from relaxing and being our true unique self. We can be sugarcoating things with the way that we think and deal with life. Often we can do this to ourselves And this will stop us from fully acknowledging how we feel. And this can cause us to suppress our emotions. Over time, these will build up and cause us an issue. We can say to ourselves, it's okay, it's not that bad. We can just go along with it. Everyone else seems okay. Then we put the sugar coating into the experience and try our best to go on with it and just get along. Of course, we'll all do this from time to time and that's totally normal as we will want to put other people first at times, make them happy, join in with groups of people, make it lovely for our families. But if we're doing this every day, then this over time will just wear ourselves down and cause us to experience those fight, flight and freeze responses. We can then find that we start being triggered by other people and everyday things which hadn't previously been a problem to us, reacting and overreacting. And this response is not necessary and it's unwarranted. This is because our unconscious mind has been living in this fear state. It's been waiting for the danger to surface. Those inner feelings don't have an outlet, so they have just grown within us. And even if this is just a small amount every day, it will build up over time. Let's look at an example of this. Say you're in a job. You don't like it, but you need the money. And originally, you took the job and you sugarcoated it to yourself, that it was just temporary, um, you'd find something else, it wouldn't be long term. But you're still there. You've always disliked it, but you just pretend that it's okay by this sugarcoated attitude to it. It's great money. I'll leave next year, next month. Whatever it is you say to yourself... We do this at times and we have to do things we don't want to do. But we're best to admit it to ourselves and not to pretend to ourselves. It's okay to not like what everybody else does and it's safe to be unique. If we have stayed a while, then then you find a way to another job. Then this would never have been a problem. But after five years, you're still stuck here then those feelings beneath the sugar coating, which we've been denying to ourselves, will really have built up inside of us. We then may start getting irritated by our children or partner, get headaches, full tension in our neck and shoulders, 
and we don't sleep as well. Start feeling anxious on a Sunday afternoon knowing we have work on Monday. At this point, we're so used to sugar coating things and having this sugar coated attitude that we're sort of in denial of where these feelings are coming from. And this will make it much harder to resolve them. Because we may, for parts of it, be looking at the wrong things to find solutions to our frustrations. If our children were better behaved, if we had more space in the house, then this may stop the issue. And we could start thinking in this way. This could lead us to commit to a bigger mortgage, making us more trapped in the situation, and so in turn causing more internal fear and anxiety. We could feel that it's our partner's fault and drive a wedge between you and your partner. And over time, you end up losing your relationship because of it. These are the extremes, but you can see how this could happen. Whatever your level of this sugar-coated attitude is, it is still impacting you. And it's time to stop this and look for change. We can sugarcoat ourselves over lots of things. How much we drink, how much unhealthy food we have, how we feel about ourselves, our work, our friends, our life in general. I know we don't have a magic wand to give us everything we truly desire, but wasting our time living this way is totally unnecessary too. We may feel trapped as the whole situation over time has worn us down. But we can't keep going on this way. We have to stop and take positive action. The first step is to admit to ourselves that, that this is an issue. And that in itself is a massive step. But when we do, the fear won't be chasing us anymore. We'll be facing it head on. Change won't come instantly, but now you can focus your energy on the right things instead of using all the energy to deny how we truly feel. Our friends and family love us and they will help you. Maybe you could seek help with someone like myself or join a night school course, a group, Find a way to release the daily frustrations and anxieties in your life. There's no right or wrong way. There's only your way. Start this process today. Take the weight of denial off your shoulders and see things clearly. Start taking steps to change this and find better ways to live your life without sugarcoating things and building up these inner negative feelings. I know you can do it. Start believing in yourself. You may even surprise yourself what you can truly achieve. Thanks for dropping by. 